share it. We shot this one. Okay. Now, is it okay now? Can you hear me now? Hello. Right. I start. Uh, there is a problem with my network, right? Anyway, so I was talking about this uh, fan of a diffraction, and there we have to talk about the uh, single seat diffraction, right? So uh, again, so the purpose of the recording, I will say that again. Now, what we are going to study is first we are going to study about the uh, single slit diffraction, fan of a diffraction by single slit. And then we'll go to the uh, double set, right? So here, what uh, is set up? In our setup, we have a uh, single slit, light source, and lens here. Uh, just forget about the lens. Mainly, we have a, the screen, or you can have a traveling microscope here to see this pattern, right? So some in many cases, we use lens here to focus these things but uh, and keeping this lens very close to the single slit, right? But uh, if you don't see a lens in a question or any um, setup, single slit fan of a diffraction setup, don't worry about that. Sometimes we just neglect this uh, use of lens, but sometimes we use it because sometimes you will see the distance uh, is given like this from single slit to uh, screen is this much or maybe in some cases in the uh, past papers you can see uh, the distance between the lens and the screen is this much. So that means the distance between the uh, single slit and the screen is that much, right? So remember that, right? Now what we are going to uh, study is this fringe system what we are getting here, right? Suppose we have a uh, light beam, light wave, uh, like from A to B, uh, A to B, A and B is the uh, single slit uh, edges and X, Y is the light beam, right? So we have X and different, different things and then we have Y, right? Then as usual, we will have uh, uh, two rays like this uh, from A to uh, common point P, right? And then uh, another last point uh, of the slit B is line, right? So we are going to consider the diffraction of these two and see the conditions. So here we will have a pattern like this. We'll see how we get this type of pattern. Uh, we have a central maximum here. Then we have a first uh, bright, first dark like that. We will have empth here, let's say empth uh, dark fringe, right? You have a large number of one, two, three, four, five like that. Uh, let's say this is the mth dark fringe. This is the central maxima. And the distance from the central maxima to mth, it can be either one, two, three, or like that. But here, generally, we take mth dark fringe, right? OK, now, uh, typical distances are like uh, we use uh, capital D here like that. But we'll see. Right now, I put everything here to get a mathematical relationship. We have to do small, small things. What we do is basically what we do is uh, we consider the path difference between these these two waves, like in previous cases. Okay. Right. Let's see uh, here now. Uh, these are the mathematical way of doing this. What we do here is. Uh, we divide this single slit, right? This uh, distance into large number of small, small slits having a width of delta A. This is A, simple A, uh, is the A to B distance. Width, here it is mentioned, right? Having a width of A, right? A, B, single slit, having a width of A. This is A. Now we are going to divide this a into very small uh, distances like delta, equal distances like delta A, uh, like here, right? So uh, I will not read all these uh, uh, words, right? So what we are going, what we are going to do is we are we are going to divide this slit distance A into n number of 
equal wavelets of width delta A. Right? So now we can write a simple A, the total width is equal to small things delta A into n number of delta A uh, slits, large number of uh, slits with this much of thick, uh, thickness, distance, right? So you can see this, this is okay, no? We have n number of sli uh, small, small slits with uh, distance delta A. So all together, it will be simple A, A to B distance. Then we can write the path difference between first and last one and two rays, this and this, right? So that is this distance. You remember now uh, in all the cases, Young's double sheet and everywhere. So we consider this path difference that is A sin theta. This is A, and here it is theta, then A sin theta. So the same thing, right? Uh, path difference between first and last wave is A sin theta. Now let's consider the phase difference between this one and two, let's say equal to two beta, right? We are just thinking about the uh, value. Well, let's say 2 beta. So you will think why we use 2 instead of beta. You see in the next slide why it is uh, we use 2 beta, right? Now we can write uh, by using our very famous equation, phase difference is equal to 2 phi over lambda into path difference. So now we are going to put all these values, right? Path, uh, path difference is A sine theta, phase difference is 2 beta. Now we can write 2 beta is equal to 2 phi over lambda into A sine theta, part difference, phase difference. From this equation, you can write beta is equal to phi over lambda into A sine theta, because this two, you can cancel out. Then finally we get beta is equal to this much. Okay, right. Now we can consider small, small things. Part difference between two neighboring wavelets, very small um, uh, neighboring wavelets. So that is total is a, a sine theta. No? Total A and B, one and two rays. If you take one and two rays, then the path difference is A sine theta. But since we have n number of small wavelets, so path difference, path difference between those two wavelets a sine theta or n. So we have n number of uh, wavelets and the total distance path difference is A sine theta. So di we divide by n. Okay. Right. Now we can write phase difference between two neighboring wavelets. Sir. Ah, yeah. Sir, chuttak sir, I kira dene pula ndeka terun ne. Kota nade, kota nade. Meta nade. Nasa with a part of the part in the name. Make it, make it. Oh, sir. All right. That means the part difference between two neighboring wavelets. Neighboring can be metal, we may put young in Delta, Delta, Delta. Make up a lavinica. Make a made devonica. Tuna, Hatra Paha, Hai, Oyagi. N number of we have. Hurry. The metana can be part difference between two neighboring wavelets. Langa Tiena the Niki. A total like a sine theta, hurry, uh, eka enolim be the puhamino, a pita, then ne katarathin of partare. There not. Then a one and two rays cut the path difference like a sine theta. Etta water path difference between two neighboring wavelets can ne appear a be the beungi, metan. Meungi, may make I make I got to. Make I make I got to. Him. Ah, hari sir, hari hari. Okay. Okay. Total like a, we have a sine theta, the total, then we divide by n. Now again we can define the phase difference between two neighboring. Here beta, two beta is the phase difference between those two points, means one and two phase. But here two neighbor, small, two neighboring wavelets, the same equation we can put. Here let's say uh, phi, uh, shy uh, for this uh, phase difference, right? And uh, then again, the common equation 2 phi over lambda into now the path difference is this one, a sine theta o n, right? So now you will think why here we put 2 beta and here why not uh, 2 phi? 
for the mathematical uh, simplification, we use like this. So you can use either theta here or theta, no theta cannot be uh, any any symbol delta or whatever the things. But for our easiness, we just define like that. We can define no, two beta here, uh, shy like this here, right? Now we have uh, this phase difference between small two neighboring wavelengths. Okay, Neil. Right now. Uh, oh wait, yeah, here. So graphically, we can represent uh, the things like this, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, in number of uh, uh, slits or the, uh, small, small slits. So then, the finally, or the our mth uh, uh, fringe. So the final resultant one, the amplitude will be like this. If you have one, two, then you have to connect from here to two. If you have three, one, two, three, divide into three, then you have to get the R, the resultant one from this place to this place, like that. So since we have M number of, let's say M number, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, like M, then the resultant will be, uh, by connecting these two points, you can get the resultant, right? So geometrically, we can, uh, show these things, uh, those things we are not going to, I mean, uh, uh, learn in details. So this is the two beta of a phase difference between first and last uh, place, right? So this is graphically graphical representation. So that we can enlarge like this, uh, putting a perpendicular line to this place. Uh, then this will be beta and beta. That's why we use two beta, right? Then it is easy to divide this two beta into beta and beta. Otherwise it will be beta by two, these two, right? So for our easiness, we use two beta, then this is beta, this is beta, this is 90 minus beta. So this distance from here to here, it's X sine beta. So this is X, right? So this is X, this is beta, this is beta, so you can write, this one is x sine beta or otherwise x cos 90 minus beta. This is uh, 90 minus, right? But either way you can get this is x sine beta and this is another x sine beta. So this is our resultant uh, amplitude distance, right? So x sine beta into x sine beta. So graphically we can represent uh, like this, right? So if you have very large number of uh, uh, slits, if you are M, is very large, then you will have a nice curve, curvature like this. So we use, usually we use for very large number. So then you will have not uh, lines like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. But here you have very small, small things. So it will be very nice um, curve. So now we have X sine beta, X sine beta, that is two X sine beta. Let's see some more, right? So length of the arc, that is this one. A naught, right? A naught is equal to here. This is two beta and radius is x, right? So tri trigonometrically, you can write A naught is equal to two beta into x. So don't uh, confuse with this x. Hmm? That is the distance, right? This distance, huh? Eh? Right now, okay. Now, therefore, from this one we can write x is equal to a naught over two beta, making x, you just get the x, right? Then we can write resultant amplitude, right? This AP, this one, right? Resultant amplitude, that means x sine beta, x sine beta, that is two x sine beta, right? So here you have two, this is x distance, right? Not uh, multiplication uh, symbol, right? Don't confuse with that. Uh, two x sine beta, x sine beta. Uh, uh, not to confuse, I use the bracket, right? Otherwise, you will think two into sine beta. No, it is two x sine beta, right? Right. Now, AP is equal to two x sine beta, but x we know that uh, a naught x naught x is equal to a naught or two beta. So put this a naught or two beta here. Then two sine beta a naught or two beta. So you can um, write it nicely. AP is equal to 
A naught you can have it here, and then sine beta over beta. So this is our resultant amplitude. Okay, right. Now we can since we know that now we know the amplitude, so you can get the intensity because that is the square of the amplitude. So let's say intensity of that point is IP, then IP is equal to AP squared. Hurry. Yeah. That means IP is equal to whole thing, this one, the squared of the whole thing, or this or everything, right? So that is A naught squared sine squared beta or beta squared. So now we can just uh, write like this. Uh, IP is equal to A naught squared means that is again the intensity, uh, intensity I naught or uh, then sine, sine squared beta or beta squared. So this is the very important relationship. So sometimes uh, you can see in the past papers, so we have asked you to use this equation, uh, not to derive uh, this equation very long ago. I think uh, we have asked you to derive this one, but uh, this year not necessary to derive this one, but you should remember this relationship to use, if, uh, to use it for the mathematical calculations, right? Anyway, now the intensity of that point, IP is equal to I naught, this one, sine squared beta over beta squared. So let's say uh, uh, what we can do, right. Then, it, right. So now, uh, the, we, 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 we want to see, see the shape of the diffraction pattern, how it goes, up, uh, because we just draw like this uh, central fringe, like this now. So we should know how we can get right, this pattern. So let's see how we can get that pattern, right? Now we have the this equation. IP is equal to A naught squared sine squared beta over beta squared. This is our normal equation. Here we, what we got this one, right? So in, ten, in, in, in terms of intensity, you can write like this, but uh, we use this one for our small, small things. Now, and beta, right? So I put this equation as one, and beta is phi over lambda a sine theta that we have obtained here. Beta is equal to phi over lambda into a sine theta. So we use these two equations, one and two, and then we consider some cases, right? To see our um, fringe pattern. Case one, easily we can say when theta is equal to zero, right? So we, we consider the case where theta is equal to zero. When theta is equal to zero, from this weak equation, second equation, you can say that, uh, see that uh, phi over lambda a sine zero, sine zero means zero, that means beta goes to the, beta goes to zero, right? And when uh, that beta goes to zero, you can put it here, right? So uh, I don't know whether you have done these mathematical things. When beta goes to zero, sine beta over beta goes to one. So that is from uh, A-level trigonometry. Uh, otherwise, uh, in uh, 3117, uh, the mathematical course for chemistry biology. So they are also, they talk about these things, right? So uh, this is a uh, common thing, right? So now we can write if sine beta over beta goes to one, so that means this one goes to one. So that means I, uh, I P O I resultant I is equal to A naught square, right? Therefore, I is equal to A naught square. That is our central fringe. We call it central fringe or principal maxima. So maximum intensity uh, we have in that point, right? So when theta is equal to zero, theta is equal to zero means here. T is equal to zero means here, right? So there you get the central maxima. Okay, that's why we get this this one, central maxima. Okay, now you understand there must be a central maximum. So here it is. Now let's see another case, general case, case B. Let's say when beta is equal to M5. Now we are just thinking beta is equal to M5. 
where m is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that, but not m is equal to 0. Now we can write sine beta is equal to, if you take the sine uh, in both sides, sine beta is equal to sine m phi, right? So that means sine beta is equal to 0. So if you put any sine value for this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, any value, so that goes to 0. That means sine beta is equal to 0 for m is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values. Therefore, i, i, now the i is equal to 0, sine beta, this equation, right? So now, uh, uh, what is sine beta goes to 0, right? Sine beta, right? Then sine beta, right? Uh, sine beta goes to 0, i goes to 0. So that means dark fringes or minimum intensity with different m values, m is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, right? Then the equation 2 becomes our uh, this equation. Now we can write like this, beta is equal to 5 lambda a sine theta, this equation. Uh, now um, beta is equal to m phi, right? Here we use this one, beta is equal to m phi, m phi is, must be equal to phi over lambda a sine theta. The methana oalata make a me locuta it under the anat, Raman Tagal single in Kianan, methana karan ne may may condition ne kapi gana, make it up a basic equation there. Hurry there, may they got the with the tamam methana kila zuni, a gun with the avashana, may equation decker what adugani always the end of me make up me single set eight in a killer. Etta cotta may deca aragena tamay apime pattern nega balanda and it is a diffraction pattern nega coma the nicola. The cow to keep a palier mega central maxima canoa, minimum la mehemena, keep a hem banning. So we have to see that. To see that when the make case deca copy consider kerno. Palavini case sekatama, tita bindu in our stout. Tita bindu in our stout can appear in the me with the demo could have been nicola. Hurry. Eka balan the my maker latini metana theta bindu and what a beta bindu no make equation on Garangila. I intensity take a maximum meno central fringe gila bitino. Harnet or eat pass it our cases balna, mono the wind pull on beta volta, minami again, then up metana beta goes to zero place second megati. Beta the value seneca gun of band. Hurry, you can theta bindu and me, theta water, win a value seneo. Hurry. So theta values in a place of time again. So now we are going to consider theta beta is equal to m5. That is not that means theta is not theta is not zero, right? Okay. Make a pita no m5 kila gamma beta when a senate. Oh na gap. Eta kota sign beta behem bindu no make a kya ne i bindu in a ekak intensity equation negative method the moth. Intensity like a bindu. Eta quarter, beta samana M5 when M samana I can no one place say the dark fringes some. Api may condition nekai, a pe calling at the path difference, they get done. Beta beta now beta is equal to five over lambda a sine theta. Five over lambda a sine theta. May equation anything? May equation neke or come up out chicken with enemy. It is beta we note dana, then m5 can make another. Ethode m5 is equal to 5 over lambda into a sine theta. Make a product I had to make a current plan. a sine theta is equal to m lambda. Men the make a my condition for dark fringes. Right? The make a pattern a k. Hurry. May central fringe a May dark fringes methane no a kai de kai tuna hatra homoma. M samana 1, 2, 3, 4 at a minimeter. Dark. Make a first bright tega, second bright tega, central, first, second, third, you know, minimum, may then. Something has happened, right? Anyway, we'll see, right? So now, uh, can you understand? This one, what I have talked for the condition for the dark fringes, we must use this condition. At least you should know this condition to do the calculations, mathematical questions. 
है ना आदि हेलो है ना नहीं आदि मैं ऐहिन नेपतन तेरे नेपतन टाकगल किया नो ने हरी जाए ओके सर राइट डिस्टर्ब होना रखा मन्ना है तेरे नया किला किया हरी हाँ किया ने राइट ओके नाउ दिस इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट हरी because if you see the past papers you will see the use of this equation right condition for the dark fringes for, for example you can calculate for the first dark fringe a sin theta is equal to lambda uh, otherwise uh, for the second or 2 3 4 dark fringes so you can calculate the path difference this equation you have to remember at least Uh, this equation if you remember then uh, you can do the mathematical calculation in past papers and also uh, in the coming uh, papers nbt2 and uh, finals right okay this is our condition right now let's see uh, some more uh, simplification because we always use this uh, theta very small values right you remember that in the young's double slit and everywhere always we talk about the small theta values So here again, you can put the same thing and then see what will happen. Since theta is very small, then sine theta. Always you remember sine theta is equal to theta. Otherwise, tan theta is equal to sine theta is equal to tan theta. So here we can write uh, uh, since sine theta sine sine theta is equal to theta. You can write a sine theta is equal to a theta. A t this equation, right? Previous equation a sine theta. A sine theta. This one is theta. A theta is equal to m lambda. A theta is equal to m lambda. Then you can write theta is equal to m lambda o a. Hari, me thani theta gan. Therefore, for the first dark fringe. So now we can see for the first dark fringe that is theta one. Theta one is equal to lambda by a. You just put m is equal to one here. And for the second dark ring. That means m is equal to two, so that the the angle is theta two, so that is two lambda away. For three, four, five, six like that, we can write for the three three lambda away, for four like this, uh, it goes like that. Therefore, the fringe separation, fringe separation being second in uh, the the theta values between second and one, three and two, near uh, neighbors you have to. Uh, consider the neighbor fringes now to get the fringe separation. So if you subtract from the second to one, so two lambda o a minus lambda o a that means lambda o a. So if you consider the fourth and third, then four into uh, four lambda o a minus three lambda o a that is again lambda by a. So everywhere you can see the fringe separation, right? Uh, is lambda by a. So easily you can. Uh, Uh, show that if want if want hurry so you can see now the fringe separation is lambda by a and for the dark for any dark fringe you have uh, a sin theta is equal to m lambda equation so this is these two are very important even if you don't remember all these things remember at least uh, this these two equation so th that is only the thing we have in this. Uh, a uh, single slit right so now you can uh, show a uh, full pattern like this so this is the intensity and you can have theta values when theta is equal to zero we get the uh, central bright fringe right and then uh, the, the the when theta is equal to lambda by a so we have the the what is the first minima right then the second uh, first uh, bright second minima uh, second bright like that for these values right right we got these values no here yeah. right these values so you will see the pattern like this bright a central bright fringe first minima second minima third minima fourth minima both sides you can have it and the values will be like this So we we got these values and we put now we can put uh, these values into a graphical representation, 
right? So they are the finally you will get a pattern like this. Okay. So this is the uh, way we are having single set diffraction, fan of a diffraction. So that is all, right? Okay. Now uh, we can go further uh, to see some other patterns, right? Uh, by using this in uh, this IP equation, IP intensity is uh, this equation. I rem I told you that uh, at the beginning we got this equation. Now to see the maximum or minimum, what we do when you have a function like this or so any function, to see the maximum or minimum, what we do is we get the uh, derivative of this equation, right? Then, uh, uh, if you differentiate this equation by beta, uh, what is uh, base, right? So then you have to do this, right? A naught, that is the constant. So this is the term with the beta. So you have to uh, differentiate that uh, part. So that means you can see, uh, if you remember the, the, the mathematical things in the biological science or so biological, what is the chemistry, mathematics or chemistry people. So, uh, mathematics or chemistry people. Right? So you have to use that uh, relationship. Uh, if not, you just write it here. Uh, then you can have the terms like this. So I, I actually, I skip that point here. Uh, so if you want, you can write it here, right? Uh, then uh, you can uh, uh, modify or, or modi you can arrange this like this, A naught squared sine beta, sine beta or beta term and uh, cos beta or beta minus sine beta or beta squared. Right, so just uh, simply we can arrange it. Right, right. Now uh, uh, two is missing here. Right, okay. You have to have the two term. Right. Otherwise, uh, it is not correct. Ne? So you have to have the two, two, two. Uh, I cannot write it here. It's a figure like. So two, two terms must be here. Right. Now. Uh, now again, we can see the uh, maximum or minima, right? So from this equation, intensity, intensity, right? Intensity equation, you can see the maximum or minima. So the first derivative must go to zero. Those are the places we have maximum or minima, right? So uh, you can identify that uh, whether it is a maxima or minima by taking again the differentiation, right? But here, we can use this equation to see whether we have maximum or minimum place, places. So uh, delta, uh, this one, delta i by delta b. So this one should go to zero for the max, either maxima or minima. So that means if we have two terms, this term can be zero, either this term can, or this term can be zero, right? Both also can, but at least, one should be zero. So in this case, uh, if we consider this case, then to get zero, this cos beta or beta should be equal to sine beta or beta squared. Then we get the zero value. So that means we have zero. Otherwise, this sine beta, if sine beta is equal to zero, then again, we will have a, a zero, right? So that means for the maximum or minima, so we have to have these two conditions. Right, so from this equation we can write, uh, get signed into uh, cos. Uh, then that is tan tan beta is equal to beta, or beta is equal to m phi. Right, so then uh, secondary maxima or the secondary maxima. So we can plot like uh, by using this equation y y is equal to tan beta equation, and from that you can see uh, uh, maximum values. Right, but this part uh, it's in the book, but uh, I didn't put this uh, figure because uh, most important thing is this one, right? So if you remember this part, 
and the equations uh, like this fringe this one and the fringe width that is enough right fringe separation right so but if you want you can uh, go further uh, so there is a um, tan graph in the book so i didn't put it here but uh, or to get that graph you have to go like this right remember that if you want uh, to understand go through this one right okay then uh, i think that's all right uh, that's all in the single slit right so i put summary again uh, cutting uh, i got uh, this text from a book so if somebody wants you can simply read these things but i have explained all these things uh, here right everything i have explained so this is uh, the total summary uh, because here we have almost all the sentences therefore i copied this one right if if anybody uh, wants then you can read it but i i already explained all these things right then uh, yeah summary very important summary this equation i told you that uh, to remember this equation right and there's another intensity equation i will show you in the other next slide so this is the basic equation we use in the single slit fan of a diffraction and the setup will be like this right we have a single slit with slit a uh, slit with a and the usual angle theta and there will be a point any point p from o distance like in the young's double slit and the distance between uh, the slit and the uh, screen uh, in some cases you will get the distance between lens and the uh, single uh, the screen is x like that so don't worry about that then you have the lens like here right here you have you can keep a lens but uh, that again gives the distance between the slit and the Again, something is happening, right? Anyway, we'll see. Right. Uh, can you... Now you can see it, ne? Right? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, right. So the, this setup is very important, ne? May set up a Dugani, then Ghana Kadan, then past papers, Balnagota Penny, single slit to like Kadang in Eva, single slit fan of a diffraction keep gum, minimum rupee and the Gandola, the Mataki endo. Arians double slit to the Ganang Hedoi. Eat a passi, a Gani di Lati, echo A, echo X, Y, Keno, distance to the Dilati. Oetica, some other equation etama, A sign theta is equal to M lambda. Eta kota o a sin theta is equal to m lambda kin equation nengi pen nani m samana eka deka tuna hatara paha ekina dark uh, brand um, portion sena tang. Ochara tama summary ke oke ti eni. Hari then make one ilang slide deke dala ti ara equation uh, ko. Ko. Ko eka. Ayo. Right, better nani. Metana may equation at any got the equation they got when the American Tamayo got the hurry. What a mother can make a lot them. So I just put uh, for you to remember uh, because we started like this for the intensity, we got this equation, and finally we came to uh, this uh, equation, right? So these are the important things, but uh, mm, uh, one or two times, I think. In the past, uh, we have asked you to, uh, the student to use this equation, right? But definitely you will get this type of questions uh, to use this equation, right? So this L, A, and this uh, distance theta and those things, right? Uh, so now we'll see, yeah. So the, the sample questions I put here. So you can, uh, you have to do all these things at home, right? So you will get uh, similar questions, but the story will be different. Uh, use of this, uh, this uh, equation, basically the, our D sine theta, this equation, right? A sine theta is equal to M lambda equation. 
right? Let's see one, a single slit of width one millimeter. So slit distance uh, width is given, right? And uh, is illuminated by a light of wave. Lambda is also given, 589. Find the angular spread of the central maximum of diffraction. But angular spread, what is the angular spread? This one, this here theta, and here again another theta. No? So that means two theta. So from two, if you find the two theta, two, uh, two theta value, so that is the spread, right? This distance, okay? So like that, uh, you have to use this equation. Excuse uh, me, sir. Yeah. Uh, previous previous slide uh, half angle uh, 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 then the so this these questions uh, in these questions you have to use the simple equation sine theta a sine theta is equal to lambda m lambda or whatever the lambda right Basically, this equation. Hello. So then I have to mute all the people. Then you cannot ask any question. Right? May I do that too? Okay, we'll see. If it comes, then I have to do it again, right? Okay, anyway, we'll see, right? So these these are these are these these one question. So here a sine theta is equal to lambda uh, first minima single slit. Uh, what why we use first because we are talking about the central maximum. So central maximum means here this one. So that means m is equal to one. Eh? M is equal to one here. My, if you take the minus side, that is m is equal to one. So this is the central thing. So in this question, it is not written uh, given, but uh, find the angular spread central maximum. So that means m is equal to one is given. So then you have to put the, all these values. Uh, then you can calculate the theta, theta value. Theta value is only this part, right? Only this part. So then you have to calculate the estimate the two theta. So that is the sp spread. Uh, say, uh, spread of the, uh, the, the, the first, um, uh, what is the uh, um, central maximum, Harry? So here you see two theta, right? So that is the angular spread of central maximum, angular spread, right? That is two theta. So likewise, you will have the questions like this to use this equation. Right, so you don't have to uh, derive this equation. You just uh, get this equation and put the values and uh, calculate it. So this is another example. Uh, lambda is given. Falls normally on a slip. Width is given. Right, you have to be very careful about the the, the, the units. Right, and determine the angular portion of the second and third minima. Second and third. Right. So here, second and third. Right? So you can calculate for the second theta value and for the third value, you can calculate. So then you can subtract these two values and then you can find the uh, angular portion of second, angular portions. Ah, here it says angular portions. So that is very easy, right? For the second one here. So this is the, what is the, for the general case. So you can put n is equal to two, then you will get for the second one, n is equal to three, you will get for the uh, third one. So likewise, you can calculate. So very simply, you have to use that equation according to the uh, story. I put a lot of uh, 
questions you to try uh, usage of this equation in different ways. All right? the, uh, so you have to uh, do all these things at least, uh, not at least, but you are getting this type of questions in the uh, NBT2 and also in the um, finals. All right? right, again, another example. Here you can see a convex lens of focal length 20 is placed, right? I told you that sometimes we are not giving the distance between the single slit to the screen. So here it is given a convex lens of focal length uh, 20 centimeters placed after a slit width of this much. So a story is like this, right? Yeah, okay, here you can see this, uh, but this length, lens should be uh, kept very close to this one, right? So this distance is given because uh, this is the focal length of this lens, right? So you can see here the, the question, how the question comes. Distance is given in a different way. A convex lens is this, and if a plane wave of wavelength, lambda is also given in angstrom, right? Here millimeter, here centimeter, here angstrom, and then calculate the separation between the second minima on either side of the center maximum. Second minima on either side, right? Separation, that means here, right? Second minima is this one. So this one, let's say theta two angle, here you can find the theta two angle and here again, you can find the theta two angle, right? Then you can find the uh, t, uh, two theta two value, like in the this one. Here the first knee, central one. Now here second, right? Second minimum either sides, right? So these are the way you can have the questions, right? But story is only the different. Uh, the equation is the same, right? And here again, uh, the prime of a diffraction, we use slit width is given. And first, first minimum, and m is equal to one is given. Uh, that distance is given, right? Uh, from here, this distance, right? So this distance is given in this problem. Uh, lens and, uh, yeah, again, the, the distance between the lens and the screen is given. So that is slit and the screen is given. Wavelength, we have to calculate the wavelength. So use the same equation and then uh, put these values because all these values are given except one value, lambda. So you can put all these things and calculate, estimate it. So likewise, I, I put a lot of equation for you to try. So at least, uh, please try these things, right? Here again, the use of same equation, right? Right? So, but stories are different. So you should be able to get the uh, real uh, values of these parameters. Then you can just apply for this equation and get the uh, answer. And here, uh, yeah, use of this intensity terms. So you can find, uh, you can um, have this type of questions to use this equation, right? So here it is sine alpha or alpha, but uh, you can use sine beta or beta, uh, symbol, right? Here in this problem, they use alpha, but it doesn't matter. General uh, equation, what we have in our, diffraction. So this is the use of this equation, right? So use that equation directly and uh, get these values here in this question, lambda and the other values, and put the values and get final answer, right? So usage of this equation and this equation are very important in your uh, exams, right? Right. Again, some more questions. Only the thing is the uh, story is different. Now here, lambda and everything is given. The distance on the screen between the centers of the first minima, outside the central bright fringes. First minima is this one, first minima is this one. So that distance is given. Uh, again, the problem. Right, anyway, you try these things, simple equation, uh, you have to put the values, right? try all these things, right? And uh, we have two cases, slit is not very narrow. So you can, if it is very narrow, 
uh, is not very narrow, you can use some approximation. So anyway, the values are given, right? Okay, now, yes, another type of question. Uh, if you do all these questions, definitely you can answer for uh, any past paper questions so, or uh, what is um, uh, NBT2 or final examination. Right, now we will see about the double slit, when you have a double slit. So here you can have see the, the comparison, difference uh, between single slit diffraction and double slit diffraction patterns. So I put uh, you to read this one. You can see, uh, for example, intensity of this pattern is quite less in single slit. But here, intensity, intensity pattern of double slit diffraction is four times that of a single slit pattern. So easily you can see the pattern with the double slit uh, diffraction, prime of a diffraction. So just read these things, uh, then you can uh, easily understand some of the differences between this single and double slit. Right, so uh, before we go to the double slit experiment, you can see here, uh, when we have a single slit diffraction with single slit D, capital D here, right? Uh, uh, in our cases, we use A, but it doesn't matter whatever the number. So then we have a pattern like this, central maxima, first dark, second dark, like that. But when you have double slit interference with extremely small slit, if you have very small slit with double slit, so you will have a pattern like this, right? And double slit uh, with uh, finite slit width, right? So if you have two slits with finite distance, then you will have a pattern like this. Uh, we are going to study about this pattern. So here you have the diffraction pattern and inside you have uh, interference pattern also. So we are going to um, uh, study about this uh, double slit interference with finite slit width. All right? uh, we'll see how we can get. The system will be, uh, setup will be like this. Now, instead of single slit, we have two slits. Only the difference is that one and same way we can get the equations like what we already got in the uh, single slit case. So here, the distance or width, width of a single slit is same. So previously we consider only this part, right? But now here we have another slit with the same width uh, A and the separation is B, right? So actually uh, what we should uh, do is uh, when you consider the separation between this slit and this slit, so you can get the distance from the middle to middle, otherwise from this end to this end, right? If you see in the textbooks, so sometimes they use A by two, here A by two, and then this distance with that distance, uh, A by two into this distance like that. But uh, you don't have to consider like that much. Uh, here in our case, we just consider B, center to center, right? So if you have given the, the separation of the slits, B, that means from here to middle to middle, right? A is the uh, width of the single slit, B is the slit to slit difference, right? You just consider from middle to middle, no need to consider this distance or A by two distance, right? So we pattern will be like this. We have a screen here, and now we have to consider four rays, four waves. Uh, one is from first single slit, one and two, and uh, second one is three and four. Finally, one and four, uh, we are going to consider one and four rays, four waves, right? For example, uh, if you consider this one and four, right? One and four waves, right? Or rays, right? Then the path difference between these one and four is this distance, right? Okay, this is the distance. So that means here it is B and here it is the angle is theta. So that means B sine theta, right? So this is the B sine theta. 
But if you consider a single slit, only a single slit, so that is the far difference is this one, A sin theta, right? So uh, in a single slit, we have A sin theta, but in a double slit, we have B sin theta, B is the separation of these slits. So these are the things we are going to consider and put together and uh, to see the pattern, okay? Remember that P sin theta is coming from this uh, distance, that is the distance between uh, single slits. And uh, if you consider the width of the single slit, then you get A sin theta path difference. Okay, right. Now we'll put all these things together. Right. First, we consider a single slit. Easy case, no? So we know that now we know that uh, from the uh, uh, single slit studies, phase difference is equal to 2 by uh, 2 beta, 2 phi over lambda into A sin theta. So this is the thing what we have used previously. So there we got beta is equal to phi over lambda A sin theta. So now we know this one because we have done that one, right? Now we have to consider the part difference between 1 and 4 due to two slits, 1 and 4. So they are the path differences I told you that that is B sin theta, this one, right? So we'll see that. So that means let's say uh, to, uh, the phase difference is del 2 delta. Here it is 2 beta, but here let's say 2 delta, right? So then 2 phi over lambda into path difference is now B sin theta, right? So for the uh, 1 and 4 is, so you get the phase difference is equal to 2 phi over lambda B sin theta. Let's keep it like that. Then amplitude due to a single slit at P. Amplitude uh, in our single uh, slit case, uh, we obtain this equation, right? Uh, here, you remember, right? Wait, wait. Okay, anyway, you, you go down and uh, see it, right? So now we have to put, we can put all these together in a graphical uh, way. Now, the amplitude is equal to, again, problem, right? All right, okay. Now, uh, let's consider two waves, right? Uh, this is a, here, these two, right? One and four. So, uh, at the P point, this is A naught sine beta, this one, and this is second one, A naught sine beta amplitude and we have five uh, Shia angle, and this is the resultant of those two, amp resultant amplitude, right? So now we have to calculate the R value, right? To calculate the R value, so you can use the Pythagoras relationship here, right? So we know this, this is A naught sine beta, amplitude of the first one, and this is the amplitude of the second one, the same one again, but now we know this is 2 delta because we consider it as 2 delta, right? And this we know, now we can get the 2 delta into this cos theta. Uh, this one into cos 2 delta is this one, sine is this one. So uh, when you know this, uh, this one and this one and this one, you can calculate the R uh, by using the uh, Pythagoras relationship, right? So he, this is those things, right? So our, uh, what is this one? Uh, finding this one, R cos, uh, what is uh, uh, sine term and cos term. From these two, you can get the value. Finally, uh, simple calculations, right? So just use the Pythagoras uh, equation and finally, uh, you will get a equation like this, right? Use the Pythagoras theorem for this triangle and finally you can get this type of equation for the R squared, this R squared, right? So here, all the mathematics are here, just uh, do these things, all your things, right? Uh, then we'll have uh, terms like this, R squared is equal to four A naught squared, sine squared beta over beta squared into cos squared delta, right? So this is our final equation for our double slit plan of a diffraction. Now, by using this equation, 
Of course, you can put into uh, intensity mode here. A naught is uh, I naught. Uh, A naught squared is equal to I naught. Here it will be intensity of that place. So by using this equation, you can again plot uh, like in the single slit, right? See how uh, what we can do, right? Now we have a R this equation, right? Because this is R squared. So if you take uh, the square root of this, then you will get uh, this type of equation, right? Uh, then again we can put into the intensity mode. Intensity mode will be like this because this is the R no. So you have to get the R squared for the intensity, right? So this is the equation what we are going to use, right? So IP is equal to for A naught squared, you can use like uh, I dot, but just keep it like this. Uh, sine squared beta over beta squared into cos squared delta. So this, we have two terms. This first term is coming from the uh, diffraction due to the single slit. You can remember, you, if you want, uh, you can go back and see the e uh, intensity uh, equation we got like this, right? So this is coming from the diffraction due to single slit, right? But apart from that, we have double slits also. Therefore, uh, interference of the two slits, uh, due to the interference, we will get uh, another pattern and uh, in this equation, this is the term, uh, we get interference due to the two slits. So we have two things. Now we have to consider two things because uh, you can put uh, uh, this term into zero or this term into zero like that. Uh, you can see the uh, distribution, right? So this is very important. I put here very important equation. This is the double slit uh, fan of a diffraction intensity equation, right? Okay, let's see what can we do, right? So like in the previous case, now we can draw the, the pattern. To do that, uh, first we use this part. Later we can use this part, right? So here, the resultant intensity will fall to zero if either term is zero, right? Then now here, you can see the resultant intensity can be zero uh, we have two cases. Either this can be zero or this can be zero. So now we have to consider these two cases separate. So that is what I have written here. Either this term can be zero or this term can be zero, then intensity will be zero. Now we consider this term first, right? If sine beta, sine squared beta over beta squared is zero, then you can remember these things we have done in the single sheet. So that gives uh, a sine theta is equal to a, uh, phi this equation and finally uh, this equation, right? So that is theta is equal to, you can remember this equation, uh, theta is equal to n lambda OA. Therefore, the width of the central maxima, this is lambda OA, this is lambda OA, this is two lambda OA. So we got a pattern like this in the single set diffraction, right? So that is uh, not a new thing because we have done that uh, just now. So we got a pattern like this and uh, lambda by A, lambda by A, two lambda by A, this central fringe uh, width. Okay, now we have to consider the second part, interference pattern, pattern, right? Interference minima occurs at cos squared delta is equal to zero, right? And then we can put the values uh, for the delta to get cos squared delta is equal to zero should be like this. If you put phi by two, then cos phi by two is six equal to zero. And uh, if you put uh, three by by two, that again zero like that. Generally, you can write like this, m plus half phi, right? And the other things, uh, now we are going to combine these things. Two delta is equal to phi over lambda b sine theta. We got this at the beginning, very beginning, right? This equation, two delta is equal to phi over lambda b sine theta. Now we are going to use that relationship here, right? From here, you can write delta is equal to uh, phi by four b sine theta, just divide by um, 
and delta is equal to phi by lambda b sin theta. Two to two, you can cancel out. Right now we can write phi by this term. So because delta we know delta can be written like this m plus half into phi. Now combine these two equations. Phi by phi over lambda b sin theta is, must be equal to m plus half phi. Right. And again, now we consider very, very small angles. So sine theta can be written as theta. Uh, here, you can put phi over lambda b theta is equal to m plus half lambda, m, m plus half into phi. From this equation, you can get theta is equal to m plus half lambda over b. So if you put m values, right? So m, uh, any number, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that, then you will get different theta angles. And that means theta is equal to lambda over 2 beta, 3 lambda over 2 beta. Likewise, uh, when you put the different m values for this uh, here, this equation, you can get different theta angles. So then we can plot, uh, yeah, before that, uh, we'll see some more things. Right, now, therefore, fringe spacing. Fringe spacing. Fringe spacing, you have to get uh, the subtraction of this one or this one uh, or another neighboring two. So here we consider 3 lambda over 2b minus lambda over b. Here, 3 lambda over 2b minus lambda over 2b. This is the, for the first case, second case, third case, fourth case, like that. So if you consider first and second case, then you can easily get, like in the previous single slit case, uh, fringe spacing will be like this. So that means fringe spacing is in this case is equal to lambda over 2b, right? Here, uh, in our, uh, what is, in the single slip, it was lambda over b, you remember? Right. Now, uh, now what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to put all these patterns together, right? Since we don't know these b and a values and those things, exact values. So we have to uh, think about something and uh, try to get the pattern, right? Uh, but definitely we know that uh, B is greater than A. This is the difference, be uh, the distance between uh, um, slits. And this is the slit width. So according to our uh, theory or concept, B is greater than A. So if you use this relationship and then one over B is uh, less than one over A. So you can put here five and three, uh, one over five is greater than one, uh, less than one over three, right? You put some values and see. Then you can put, uh, write this relationship. And then you can multiply both sides by just a number, lambda, right? So then if lambda over B, uh, if say any other way, right? If lambda over A is greater than lambda over B, definitely two lambda over A is greater than lambda over B. Currently, make lambda over A ki ne ka vadi nang lambda over B to vada make a dipping vadi ke paam poh matte di ende pe. So that means twice the term must greater than lambda over B. So we use this term because a lot of things coming with the two, 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 two values. So that means interference fringes are inside the diffraction pattern, right? You can see here fringe spacing is lambda over 2b, right? So we'll see how it comes, right? Uh, then we can uh, estimate number of spacing inside central maximum, right? Number of uh, spacing. So Again, the problem came. Right, now, here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, two lambda over A. Yeah, here. So lambda over 2B. Over here, two lambda over A, right? So this is the central width of the central maximum. So this is the two lambda A. Right, so two lambda is the central uh, maxima uh, due to the diffraction of single slit. Now we consider 
how many uh, fringes of interference in within this distance, right? So we can do it like this here, yeah, right? Number of spacing inside, spacing. So you can calculate the spacing, then from that spacing, you can find the fringes. So that is two lambda A over lambda over B, that means two B over A. So this is the number of spacing. So if we have, for example, here two spacings, so that means we have three fringes. If you have five spaces, that means another fringe. So a number of independent fringes inside the central maximum must be fringes, right? This is the spacing, this distance, this distance, right? Uh, should be that into one, plus one. So if you have two spaces, that means three fringes, right? Otherwise you cannot consider the two spaces, no? So if you have three spaces, that means four fringes. So likewise, you can calculate number of independent fringes inside the central maximum. This is the spacing, therefore now we have number to be over this one into one, right? Spacing into one, like here. Right now, since we don't know these way, B and A values, we just consider like this. For example, if B is equal to 3A, this is just an example, right? So then you can calculate number of interference fringes. You put B is equal to 3A here, uh, 3 here it will be 6 into 1, 7, right? So likewise, you can calculate if you know the B and A values, but generally, you can go with the B and A values. Let's see further. Uh, interference maxima, right? So now we know that inside the diffraction pattern, we will have a interference pattern. In the interference pattern, due to two slits, we will have maxima and minima. Now we will consider the maxima, interference maxima. In that pattern, we will have a maximum places. Therefore, we have to consider, right? So here we consider minima places, right? Interference minima places, that means cos squared delta should be equal to zero. So likewise, we can think about the maxima also. To get the maxima, cos squared delta term should be one. Only uh, it can be either zero or one. In between, uh, we can have different values, but for the maximum value, it should be one. So that means delta must be equal to M5. So uh, if you, you can put M is equal to one, then you can see uh, likewise uh, maximum places, right? But we have a relationship like this. Previously, we have obtained this. Remember here? Yeah. Somewhere here, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, go through. Yeah, remember this equation but because we have in one of the previous slides, right? Two delta phase difference, two pi over lambda, B sine theta, because now we are considering the one and four A's now. So therefore the path difference is this one and we uh, uh, defined it like two delta phase difference. So from this equation, now we can put uh, delta, you can simplify this, uh, cancelling these two. Uh, delta is equal to phi over lambda b sine theta. Now you can put this b delta into this equation. So that means phi over lambda b sine theta is equal to m phi, right? So that means uh, you can just uh, uh, simplify this because sine theta is equal to theta for the small angles. Then phi over lambda b theta is equal to m phi. That means theta is equal to m lambda over b m can be either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. So this is the uh, case in the interference maxima, right? Now we'll see uh, how we can draw these things. Uh, now putting M values for this equation, you can have theta is equal to 0, lambda over B, 2 lambda over B, 3 lambda over B, like that. So now our pattern, the interference, this is interference pattern now, right? Let's put the, the in the graph, a graph of among theta, when theta is equal to zero, we have the central maximum in the interference. So lambda over A, 
Uh, when theta is equal to lambda over a, we have the first minima and then again the second minima like that because here you have those values we have obtained, right? Okay, let's see, right? And then uh, according to that, we have the beta values. By using these equations, you can calculate the beta values uh, previous equation, right? Here, wait. Here, beta. Where is the beta? Um, here, right? Um, beta, this equation, right? Okay, put these the theta values here, then you can calculate the beta value, right? So then you can put, uh, put all these things here, theta values like this, and the corresponding beta values will be like this. The pattern will be like this. So this is the interference pattern. Now we have a diffraction pattern uh, similar to this, and we have a separate interference pattern. Now we don't know which is inside and which is outside. So we have to think about that and uh, then we can draw it, right? So combining these two, we can have a pattern like this. So this is the, this blue one is the diffraction pattern due to the uh, single slit, right? So inside we have the interference pattern like this due to the two slit interference, right? So you can uh, draw these things right? Ah, here, one is here, right? Uh, interference pattern, you can uh, 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 imagine uh, how it goes inside the diffraction pattern. So if you put this, uh, what is uh, interference pattern, it will be like this. But then you can put the diffraction pattern, right? Like here, minus lambda by a, this is lambda by a. Right? This is 2b, but lambda by b is this one. Right? So lambda by a is this one because here you can write, uh, get the, the relations. Since b is greater than a, we got this uh, relationship 1 over b is less than 1 over a, and then lambda over b is by uh, multiplying by 2. We have done this, 2 lambda by over A. So from these relationships, so you can draw this diagram. Uh, so it will, the interference pattern will be inside this uh, diffraction pattern. So this is the combining effect of these two uh, phenomena, diffraction and the interference due to the double slip. Right, so then, uh, there is a special case missing orders in this interference pattern. So you can see here, this is the central fringe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here it is, there is no interference pattern, right? So that means something is missing in the interference pattern. And again, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, like that. Uh, here it will be 14 or something like that. Here again, the interference maxima is missing. No interference here. Here again, no. So then we can calculate the missing. How many? This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is missing. Okay. Again, you can calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, again like that. So to calculate that, we have to use this uh, relationship. Uh, missing order for a given theta, if an interference maxima overlaps on a diffraction maximum, will be subset. Therefore, we will get dark because here it is dark for the uh, what is diffraction. So uh, due to that, the interference uh, fringe will be suppressed. There will be no interference fringe. Right? Then we can calculate like this: uh, theta is equal to m lambda over b is equal to n lambda over a. Here, right? Here theta. Uh, uh, the relationship M and N, right? Uh, by using M and N, we can write uh, how to say, yeah, right? Uh, because generally you can take one or two, uh, first and second 
lambda over 2b to 3 lambda over 2b like that. But uh, again here, right? Yeah, here, right? But uh, lambda over a like that. But we have we don't know first or second or whatever the things numbers need. So now we can write with the m and n numbers, any numbers, right? Uh, uh, for this overlapping place, right? So this is the first run. For the first run, m lambda o a means uh, m is equal to one lambda o a, right? m lambda o a, m o n, whatever the thing, integer, right? So likewise, you can write this equation. And from this equation, lambda lambda canceled out, m o n is equal to b o a. So if uh, b is equal to 3a, it's general case, right? So you can, uh, in, uh, in your problems, you can uh, get uh, b is equal to um, 4a, whatever the double the size, so any any number is given, right? So then m o n is equal to 3, 3, right? So that means m is equal to 3a, right? Uh, from this equation. So therefore, we can say, when m is equal to 3, 6, 9, all these numbers are missing, right? See, right? Uh, uh, this is the missing order. So to find the missing order, you have to use this equation. Simply, you can use this equation. Uh, uh, B is the width, uh, the, the distance between the two slits, and A is the uh, slit width. So if you know the slit separation and the width of the single slit, uh, then you can calculate the missing order, right? By using this equation. So you can see in the past papers, we have asked this equation, uh, questions to uh, use this equation, right? Missing order and uh, use of uh, normal equation, B sine theta equation, right? Double slit equation, right? So we um, usually don't ask to derive this equation from the beginning like here, right? So uh, to get this equation, right? So it is a lot of mathematics, not a lot, but uh, we don't ask, I mean, uh, to show this equation like that. But uh, you should be able to use these equations, right? And uh, these relationship, uh, which one? Uh, this one, right? So see the past papers and then see uh, how we can uh, ask the question simply, right? So without having a lot of uh, mathematical things. Okay, then I think I put a lot of questions you to try uh, to show you the way of asking the questions in um, double slit, right? But uh, here, I put a solution also. Uh, I told you that in some cases, uh, some people uh, use, uh, oh, this is the same thing, no? right? So here, missing order is m is equal to three. One, two, yeah, one, this is the central. One, two, three, third one is missing. Four, five, six, one is missing like that. Right. Anyway, so uh, when you use this, uh, yeah, when you try these questions, so in some cases, uh, I just put the solutions. But in some cases, I told you that some places they use this uh, distance. In our case, we always use the distance between two centers, right? So if you have a question with uh, uh, saying that uh, the uh, separation of uh, two slits is uh, five centimeter or like that, that means center to center. So you don't have to worry about this A by two or sometimes in some questions, they are giving this distance, separation, right? Then you have to get A by two into this distance to have this, uh, what is the real B value. But uh, in our case, we are not going to consider that much of things into detail. So in your questions, you will get the slit separation. So that means center to center, right? So when you are doing these questions, be careful. In some cases, they have used uh, the other way, right? But I want to uh, 
uh, what I want to um, show you is the pattern of having questions, right? Like this one. In a double slit fan of a diffraction pattern, the screen is 160 meters away from the slits, right? So that means the slit, is, slit to screen distance is given. So when you have a question like this, you just draw the setup and then put the values. The slit width, slit width, uh, yeah, slit width is given 0 0.08 millimeters, right? And they are 0.4 millimeter apart. So that means B value is given, right? So from this, from these uh, questions, what you should get is A value. The slit width A, our value is A. No, A is given. And they are this much of a part, that means B is given. Right? Calculate the wavelength of the light. Wavelength is uh, uh, asking if the fringe spacing is this much. Right? And also deduce the missing order. So, this is the typical question you get. Uh, if you see in the past papers, you can see we have asked this type of question many, many years. Right? So you can use the, our equations, what we have derived. From that equation, uh, you can get the uh, lambda value. But uh, when you are doing these uh, questions, so you don't have to exactly follow this uh, solution, right? Because they are, sometimes they use this, for example, uh, slit width is all right, and they are 0.4 millimeter apart. So sometimes they they get uh, uh, 0.4 millimeter is like here, right? Wait, I'll show you. You don't have to confuse it, right? 0.4 is this one, slit width. Sometimes they give this value, but forget about that. You, if you know the equation, correct equation. In our case, says always the slit separation is. This one, simple B from center to center. You don't have to do a lot of mathematical things uh, by considering this is B and A by two, A by two like that. Uh, don't do those things, right? Simply you use B as the center to center distance, right? So therefore, when you are doing the, all these uh, questions, be careful about that, right? Uh, forget about these uh, mathematical things. You just go through these questions. These are the way you can have the questions, right? So I want to uh, show you these things, but I cut with the answer. Then you can see here, they put like these things, right? So do the questions in our way, right? Okay, right. Again, another question, right? So use of this equation and this, uh, the, the, the uh, the both the equation, right? Single slit equation and the double slit. Again, there's uh, another way of asking question, right? Maybe the answer is here. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Again, right? So it's not very clear, but uh, when you read it, uh, you can easily uh, get the idea, right? So this is, I have done that. So this is the correct way of doing that. So on one thing, only thing I want to tell you is the way of asking the question. Always we ask the deduce the missing order, right? So you have to remember how to get that missing order. Very simple, B O A, right? This is the one, B O A. B means the slit separation, and this is the slit width. So if you know this, at least this equation, you can get up half marks. So this is the M O N is equal to five. So that means uh, 5, 10, 15, like that, they are missing. So do all these things. But here again, uh, uh, some question, but I don't know whether, if you enlarge it, you can do it, right? Yeah, answer is here, correctly done, right? So please uh, try these questions, right? Uh, this is a, with the intensity equation, right? So how to use that intensity equation. So I put that one for this double slit also. Okay, I think, uh, yeah, mm, that's all for the, yeah, that's all for the double slit, right? So try to do all these questions, then you will see the pattern, 
how we are asking the questions, right? Otherwise, you can do the past paper questions uh, three, four, five years. Then you will see the pattern of asking uh, questions in the double slit, prime number double slit, right? Okay, then we have the last part. So I will uh, finish it very quickly because this is very, very simple thing, not uh, difficult like uh, double slit, right? Diffraction grating means you will have a practical like this, right? With the grating, right? So large number of slits, uh, single slits. So uh, we have a screen like this with large number of slits, right? So this is we call diffraction grating, right? So then we can have a, a pattern like this, right? For the gratings and then we have a uh, grating equation. So I put all these things, uh, text things, but you can read it. But basically this equation, d sine theta is equal to m lambda. This is the equation we use all the time in uh, diffraction gratings. So if you uh, see a question with uh, diffraction grating, definitely you have to remember this equation, right? So by using this equation, you can calculate, we have one, two, three, four terms. So you can calculate uh, one term uh, having the other three terms norm, right? Okay, let's see, uh, yeah, same thing uh, what I have shown here, how we get the pattern, right? In the diffraction gradient, m is equal to zero, one, first one, second one, third one. So when you are doing this practical, you, uh, you will get some more idea, uh, but uh, the pattern will be like this, right? Okay, uh, then, uh, yeah, important thing in this case, uh, Again, the same thing uh, for the multiple uh, slits, right? Uh, how the, we get the pattern, right? In uh, what is diffraction grating. So here, yeah, okay, uh, okay. I'll go to that one later. And uh, the what is uh, these gratings can be used to measure the wavelength of light. Maybe we have a practical like this uh, to find the wavelength, right? So that is the, the basic equation we can use. And then we can uh, find the lambda value uh, by using these uh, things. Uh, you can see in the questions how we are asking and the resolving power. So that means uh, the separation. Separation is defined like this, lambda over delta lambda. lambda but uh, you have to remember that equation. And then uh, dispersion, uh, Sometimes we ask, but uh, these are the basic things with the grating. Grating equation and the resolving power of grating and the dispersion of a uh, grating. So those are the things. And uh, most important thing is this one. The slit width. Uh, because we have large number of single slits. Uh, the slit width is not given directly. It's given like this. For example, determine the angular position of the first and second order, maxima for light of wavelength, uh, this one and this one, incident on a grating containing this much of lines. So here it is hidden. The slit width is given like this, 10,000 lines per centimeter, right? So from that only you can have the slit width. Right, so in one centimeter, right, in one centimeter you have ten thousand lines. So that means separation d is equal slit separation d is equal to uh, one into ten to the power minus five meters here in the meters, right? So like that you have to find the d. If you get the uh, get uh, lines per centimeter, maybe lines per inch like that. Uh, only that part is the uh, different. Otherwise, d sin theta is equal to m lambda equation. Use of that and this one. From these two equations, you can
Sorry for this internet problem, right? So, yeah. Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, sorry for this disturbance, right? Uh, yeah, remember these things. Uh, when you have questions, you will always get this uh, way of asking questions. For example, the D, uh, separation of single slits. You will have to calculate like this. For example, if I show you another, another question right here, right? So here, uh, plane diffraction grating has the value of grating constant. Grating constant, that is equal to 15 into 10 to the power minus centimeters. So here it is given, grating constant D is given, right? But here, uh, you have to calculate, estimate. We have 10,000 lines per centimeter, but in this case, that directly grating constant is given, right? So in two ways, you will have a question. One is directly this D is given in this equation, right? D sine theta is equal to M lambda. So this is the equation you have to use, right? So here the D, sometimes you get directly this D. In many cases, you will get the lines per centimeter or lines per inch and like that, right? So then you have to calculate the D, right? Here, like in this question, okay, here. So then you have to calculate the D and then use the D sine theta is equal to M lambda equation. But if you consider this, uh, this question here, uh, to use this D sine theta is equal to M lambda equation, uh, the grading constant is directly given. So that D is given. And this one, a grading... Uh, a grating has 15, yeah, see, grating has 15 centimeter of the surface ruled with 6,000 lines. So from that, you have to calculate the, uh, the D. So these are the way of giving this D directly, either directly or with the number of lines. Here it is very simply uh, 10,000 lines per centimeter. So that is, you can directly, you can get the D uh, by using this uh, div division. And here the D is given directly, pre uh, grading constant is given. But here again, in another way, 50, you have 15, in 15 centimeter distance, you have this much of lines, right? Uh, then you can calculate the D. And the other one is uh, D sin theta equal, uh, uh, is equal to N lambda equation. And then uh, in the grading spectrum, which uh, spectral line fourth order will overlap with that order line uh, of lambda is given, right? So, and here you can see the grading equation, they use A plus B sine theta is equal to M lambda, right? So forget about that part, here they have used A plus B sine theta, D sine. Now in our case, we use D sine theta, no? So this is A, A plus B sine theta, right? So uh, I you, I told you that uh, in grating, so in double slit, so the slit separation is directly the slit separation, right? You don't have to worry about the other parts, right? Yeah, uh, usage of that equation, D sine theta is equal to M lambda in different ways, right? So go through these things, at least you should know to use D sine theta is equal to M lambda and here again, uh, try these things with our way, right? I want to uh, tell you the way of asking question, right? See here, uh, diffraction grading with uh, 15,000 lines per inch. So inch mean 2.5 centimeters now. Then you can calculate the D, uh, grading constant. And after that, D sine theta is equal to M lambda equation, right? So here, you can uh, see the pattern of uh, the way of asking question and also the solution. But uh, when you are considering this uh, D, uh, you have to calculate in our way, right? Not A than A plus B. Okay. And again, another question. So I, I just put this uh, part, uh, you to uh, get an idea only, but concentrate on the questions. 
So these are the way we are asking questions from you, right? Use our simple equation, d is equal to n lambda equation. And uh, d is just the slit separation from the lines here, here uh, superimpose another, uh, how many lines? Now in this question, d, we are asking about the d, how many lines per centimeter? If you know d, then you can uh, convert into lines per centimeter, right? Because we have d sine theta is equal to n lambda. So that means we have one, two, three, four terms. So we, are, we have to give three terms for you to calculate the other term, right? And we are uh, giving in different ways. The story is different, right? Okay, here again another uh, find the angular separation. Uh, see here, 6,000 lines per centimeter, right? So D is uh, given like this, not directly. So then you can have to calculate the D, right? And then D sine theta is equal to N lambda equation. Use this equation and estimate the theta values and like that. Okay, do those things. Uh, again, another problem, right? Only use of this equation, right? Only thing you have to get this D value, theta value, or M value, or lambda value by reading this text, right? Because every time we can give D and theta and M and ask, just ask lambda. It's not the way of asking question. So we have a story and there we have hidden the these numbers. So you have to take all these values and put this equation and estimate what we ask. Right, and I, I just cut those things uh, from the internet. Uh, again, the same thing, right? Estimating D here, you can see estimating these, right? And uh, just go through these things. Otherwise, at least go through the uh, past papers. Use of uh, D sine theta is equal to M lambda, this equation, right? You can see here, right? Calculation of D, then you just put that uh, this equation. Other things are given in this text. Okay, then uh, I want to yeah tell you this uh, use of this equation, lambda over d lambda equation, right? Because we have only three equations, right? Uh, what is this lambda over d lambda equation? D sine theta is equal to m lambda, and finally the chromatic resolving power. This equation, right? Use of this equation. So these are the ways of asking questions from the diffraction rate. D sine theta equation and this resolving power and the separation like here, right? Okay, uh, go through this, yeah, here again, the equation and questions uh, must be here, down right here again, right? Okay, now again, the last one is the dispersion, right? So you, uh, if, if you know these uh, four cases, then uh, you can answer for the grading uh, question, right? Definitely you are getting a question out of this uh, grading uh, equation, right? Maybe D sine theta, equal to, uh, D sine theta is equal to N lambda equation or the angular separation delta T is over delta lambda. And uh, here this equation, use of this equation, right? Uh, according to that, you have to very simply see only three steps. You have to use the uh, that equation only. So uh, questions will be like that. Simply use that equation here, right? This one, lambda average or delta lambda. Lambda average, two lambda values are given. Then you have can I have the average value and delta lambda value from this lambda one minus lambda two or lambda two minus lambda one and put those values, then you can, uh, here, delta lambda is this one, delta average is this one, divide by those two, uh, this one by this one, you get the R, right? Resolving power of the grating. So very simply, uh, yeah, here again, another question, right? Uh, try these things and again, uh, some more uh, uh, examples to you, uh, for you to use, lines per inch, inch, 
inch inch you have to convert it to centimeters because 2.5 centimeters is equal to one inch right so this is the old way of asking questions right still in the new books still they use this inch business uh, though we have this centimeter right but very simply you can get 2.5 centimeters is equal to one inch then you can calculate the d and then d sin theta is equal to m lambda equation otherwise this equation uh, resolving power row like that mm, yeah i put some common questions what we are asking in the cat so like that right i think yes uh, for example in the fresnel's uh, diffraction so you can see these type of questions right uh, in the past papers uh, what are the half period zones show that the area of each half so yeah. so we have done these things in the uh, fresnel fresnel's diffraction so what i why i put these things i just wanted to show you the way of asking questions if you go through the past papers and uh, these slides then uh, you will be able to uh, do the calculation in the nbt1 and uh, final paper okay let's finish this one i will uh, stop it here the sharing yeah and uh, wait yeah of course i am going to upload it uh,